friends welcome back it's time for another drop sale i'm so glad you guys enjoyed the last sale and the christmas drop sale i'm really enjoying these i have one more drop sale coming up this month on the 24th so next saturday at 10 a.m will be my last drop sale for the month and then my next sale after that will be august 3rd a live sale right here on this channel and i'll be joined by beth carolina princess sweet treats and pretties and Michelle Newton's cupboard and we were doing an all glass sale. So we will each have 10 glass items for you at 5 p.m. Eastern. That's August 3rd at 5 p.m. Eastern on my channel. So that's just what's coming up. If you've not done one of these before, a drop sale is like a live sale. I'll get through this real quick for those of you who are ready to shop. What it is, is I will show you an item, show you the number, tell you the cost. If you're interested in purchasing that item, you put the item number down in the comment section. The first person to get the item number in the comics, comment section gets the item. That's how the drop sale works. If you like an item, um, put the number in the comment section. If you're the first one, it's yours. Uh, if you've not bought from me before, I need you to email me your real name, your YouTube name, your PayPal email address, and your shipping address. Shipping is not included. It is additional. I ship from Florida and I do ship international. Uh, other than that, I think that's pretty much how we're gonna roll. And make sure you check back throughout the day, the description section of the video. You may have to hit the little like down arrow to see the full description, but as items sell, I move them up into the sold and I put who won them. So just in case you're not sure. So on Saturday, this goes live at 10 a.m. And usually by one o'clock, you know, most people have done their shopping and Sunday I will start invoicing. So just so you kind of have a timetable of how things are going to go. But we have 20 items to scoot through. So let's get going. All right. Eeny, meeny, miny, putty tat. Let us start with a putty tat. Now this is not a signed piece. This looks to possibly be, this is like a redware clay that has been glazed black and hand painted white with a little bit of gold detailing. It's in a Mexico style, but it's not marked Mexico. It is not Tonala. This guy is six inches tall by two and a quarter inches across, no chips, no damage. I just really like the look of them. Halloween time, this would be great in a Halloween display. Uh, Day of the Dead, another good one. He's got like a little fish motif. I like the black and white. There's only one gold spot and then there's a little bit of gold left here. So for the kitty cat, it is going to be $9 number 13. So if you'd like this item, you type number 13 in the comment section. And if you're the first one, you get the item. Make sure if you sort the comments, you're sorting by oldest, I'm sorry, by newest first, because the oldest comment is the one that wins the item. Okay, so we had a cat for the cat lovers. Now we have a doggy for the dog lovers. This guy is a nice chunky ceramic piece. Look at his little red cheeks. Now there was probably some red paint on the nose and tongue that was cold painted and is now gone. This is an airbrushed piece. It is a thicker American style ceramic. He has no chips or crack, just the cold paint loss. And actually the way it's painted, he may not have had a fully red nose. This guy is four and a half inches tall and three and a half inches across. He is going to be $6 number 15. $6 number 15 for the doggy. Then I have something for the strawberry lovers. This is a gargantuan trivet. Now this is a nice trivet. This one, oh, this is a Leonard silver plate. And it's, um, it says Edemic Italy. So you guys, this is the Leonard silver plate. This is a good thing. But I got a really good deal on this one. So if you want this massive strawberry that's the size of my head, which is great for hot plates, um, hot serving items, it's still got the things on the back. This guy is 10 and a quarter inches tall by seven and a half inches across. This guy is only $8, number 18. $8, number 18 for the vintage Leonard silver plate trivet made in Italy. It's pretty big. It'll fit all your big pots on there. That'll be real nice. And then we have a fun vintage card set. So these are Florida cards, never been opened. 
They've got to be older because the plastic has yellowed. This has yellowed. They're still new in the containers, never been open. And of course, being that I'm in Florida, I thought these would be fun for someone. You get this double set of playing cards for $4 number one. $4 number one gets you the vintage Florida playing cards. Are we warming up guys? Are we warming up? Next, I have a tin for you. And a lot of people like this tin in my haul. It is a design by De Heer, De Heer. Y'all know what I'm talking about. I just can't pronounce it. Designed by De Heer, Long Island, New York. Container made in Italy, in England. I'm sorry, not Italy, England. And it's this really cute couple, very like Marie Antoinette-esque with the little cherub guy dancing. It's just a little, you know, gold container. It is three and a half inches across by three and a half inches tall. So for this heart tin, it is $9 number two. Oh, I'm sorry. $9 number six. I apologize. I can't read my own handwriting. Yeah, that's a six. Sorry, guys. $9 number six. Number six for the Deher tin. Sorry about that. It's hard when you're trying to read through the paper backwards. And then I thought these were really cute for summer decor. Now, this is a made in Philippines ceramic set. They do have crazing, this one especially, but they're little mini molds. This one's raspberries and this one's got your summer apples. Super cute for kitchen decor, little country style. You're made in the Philippines. Like I said, there is crazing from age on this one. But other than that, they don't have any like major chips or dings out of them. Just a cute little set to give you an idea of size because everything always looks bigger on the screen. They're six inches tall by four inches across. So for both of these, it is $8 number four. I swear it's number four this time, $8 number four. Okay, then I got something for the people who love milk glass. This is just a cute little milk glass. It was probably like a little jam or sugar jar. It does not have any markings on the bottom. It just says 10, so that must have been the mold. But it's just this cute little white milk glass jar with this really pretty blue motif on it. I just like the floral look. It is tiny. It is three and a half inches tall. And you're looking about a two and a quarter inch diameter. So just a cute little, you could, maybe it holds toothpicks. That would work possibly as a toothpick holder too. In a kitchen or in your bathroom, you could still put rings and stuff in there. This guy is $6 number three. $6 number three for the milk glass container. And once again, guys, I'm gonna have my email popping up on the screen. So if you've not bought from me before, please be sure within 24 hours to send me your contact info so I can get you invoiced and your treats in the mail to you. Okay, this one I've been hoarding for a little while because I love it so much, but it's time for it to find a home. It is this totally boho, beautiful neon shoe planter. It is made by Dean Imports Japan, Dean Imports Japan. It does have some cracking on the inside, but it's like not in the ceramic. It's as almost they, as if they poured a thick glaze on the inside and some of the glaze is peeling up. Like, you know, if someone spray paints and they do it too much and it can crack and you it peels up a little, that's what it looks like on the inside. So there's no damage to the actual structure of the piece, but it's just got these beautiful, I mean, how cute is this for someone who has a fairy garden or a real 70s boho spring theme? I just, I just love the colors on this one. I don't normally pick up the baby style stuff anymore, but this one I had to. It is six inches across by four inches tall by four inches deep, a six by four by four. So for this super cute guy, it is $8 number 16. $8 number 16 for the shoe planter. And then I have a treat and I don't know how I'm gonna hold these up. This is a perfect condition mama and baby dog set. 
I don't know what type of dog this is. I know it's not like a Great Dane. I think it starts with an A, but you have the beautiful mama that's in great condition. The bottom says Wales, made in Japan, registered US patent, still has the chain, and the little puppies have no issues whatsoever. I forget. I think the dog breed starts with an A, but just look at the face on this one. This one's little face is just so cute. But there are no issues. They are in perfect condition. No chips, no cracks, still attached to their mama. And the mom is about six inches tall by, oh, it's hard to tell like five and a quarter inches wide. Great coloring, great look. For the set of those, it is going to be $25 and number 14. $25 number 14 for the mama and baby dogs. $25 number 14. Those guys are just really, really, really great. And let's see, perhaps it's time for a brooch. I really like this one. This one has a very like mid-century vibe to me. It's just a beautiful kind of bronzy patina with the pearl. Just something about it I find so elegant. It is three and a half inches across by two and a quarter inches tall. It does have a C-clasp on the back. It is just metal with a faux pearl. There are no issues. This guy is going to be $12 and number 12. $12, number 12 for this brooch. And then I have a little needlework piece for you. This one says, travel east, travel west, after all, home is best. So it's just, you can frame this or hang this however you want. It's just a simple needlepoint, cross stitch actually, handmade. It is eight and three quarter inches tall by seven inches wide. And for this needlework, it is $5 number two. $5 number two for the needlework. Okay, we're getting there guys. We're getting there slowly but surely. Okay, for those of you who have been waiting for the purse, it is time for the purse. So this is another project piece. Someone decoupaged the flowers and did sponge painting. Now I do wanna say there is some scraping on the top and there are a few spots where it has been dinged. So if you've got a steady hand, you might be able to sponge paint. So there's a spot there. And I think there's one coming up. We've got two little dings right here and then one here. So these are on the back of it. So when you're looking at the front of it, you do have one ding here at the front and one little spot there. You can see it's it's a little loved, it's a little worn, but it is a handmade purse. And the inside has this really, really, <clears throat> there is there is somewhere around the edge from where it has been like opening and closing. So I'm hoping you guys can see that. I want you to be aware that this does have somewhere around the edge. And it's got this real funky yellow, like mustard color velvet. There is a little staining to it from use over the years. Again, this is an older piece. I've had it open for about a week now sitting on the counter and it's smelling pretty good now. I don't really smell any residual odor. I'm sure like once you ship it for a while, there may be something eventually that you just leave it open again. It is <clears throat> six and a quarter inches tall by six and a quarter inches across. This is a great touch up piece. I just think it could really have a good home. Like I said, be aware that there are dings on the sides of it, but the flowers are not damaged. It's just as people have bumped into the sides, it's gotten a little chipped up. So this piece is $16 and number five. $16 number five for the purse, the floral Mod Podge purse. And then this, I believe, is like a little votive set. So you guys may have seen me pick this up. And it's just these double flowers. Now this side does have 
some rub wear. This is one of those very like matte satin finishes that um, I did try to take a magic eraser to this and it did not come off. So just so you're aware of that, there are some rub wear marks. So you can see that there, there's the inside. So I think this might hold votives. I just thought there's not really there's just a number on the bottom you can't really make anything out and it's got like it must have I bet this sat on a sink it's got some rust right here so I just thought this was a really pretty pink floral piece it is seven inches across by three inches tall there is a line right here but that is a mold mark it is not a crack it is actually just a mold mark so for this piece it is eight dollars and number 19 eight dollars number 19 for the double flower uh candle holder okie dokie how about a little bit of art guys i have two pieces of art for you today the first is an oil on board so isn't it beautiful just kidding this one is signed benson and is just a simple landscape oil on board look at the beautiful hazing they did for the background so you could frame this any way you wanted to. It's got really great texture. You can feel the paint and it's got the gloss that makes me believe it is an oil and not an acrylic. It is nine and three quarters inches across by seven and a quarter inches tall. So for the oil on board, it's going to be $10 number 20. $10 number 20 for the original oil on board landscape. We're getting through this, guys. <clears throat> and if you enjoy these drop sales, please let me know in the comments. I'm hoping to be able to continue to do these and try to do at least two to three a month. I know probably by October, I would say, you guys may see me disappear from sales for October and November, and I usually take December off for family, and then I'll be back in January. It's just because working full-time I'm part-time reseller and that's the busiest time of the year it may be a little harder for me to do the weekend sales but I'll you know try to do my best but at least for July August and September I'm going to try to do at least two to three drop sales on Saturdays at 10 a.m so be sure to stay tuned to my channel and the community tab because I will let you know this next piece I love it's a litho in USA by R. Col Koloa, Museum Print Editions, Inc., New York. So this is a print. Look how pretty that print is. It's called Sunlit Flowers Koloa Museum Print Editions. And because they printed it on the textured paper, it's textured cardboard. It just, it's just gorgeous. Like for a vignette, like across the room, it looks like an oil painting. So it's a really, really beautiful quality print that has the faux signature, the printed signature. The back just has wear it because someone probably had it taped up, you know, and all that. It is bigger than my ruler. So it's probably a 14, I'm sorry, a 13 by 11, an 11 by 13 or 14 by 11. I just thought this was a really pretty scene. The flower print, this one's going to be $6 and number eight. $6 number eight for the beautiful flower print. Okie dokie. Then I have another tin and this is just a cute one for fall. It's got a little boy with his spaniel and then there's a little girl that has like a whip or something and she's just marching. And then there's the little boy with his spaniel. There is no barcode on the bottom. It is an older metal. Just a real cute decorative tin. I like the browns for the fall. This one is going to be $6, number seven. $6, number seven. And just to be sure, it is four inches tall by three and a quarter across. That's $6, number seven. Okay guys, we have four items left two more brooches, a tin, and a book. So hang in there. We're almost there. Let's do the brooches. This one is absolutely stunning. I actually received one similar to this from Dolores that I'm keeping for myself. 
That's Miss Damn Jewelry in the UK. Can you see the edging has like an extra shined gold? It's just a simple gold brooch, but it's very mid-century. It's very sleek. It's very elegant. It's a very nice piece. It is two and a half inch in diameter. I liked the extra shined gold around the edges. It just gave it a really beautiful patina. This piece is going to be $8 and number 10. $8 number 10 for this brooch. Ooh, our wind's picking up, guys. We're going to get more rain. Then this one is another really, really cute one. It's for someone who loves purple. It's purple roses, and on the leaf, there's uh, little rhinestones. It's got a C clasp. It's a beautiful bouquet. Let's see if I can get this to... So you can see it's got all the purple roses and then the leaf has the rhinestones on it. Just a really beautiful gold piece. Let's see if I do this. You guys can really see that. There we go. Just a really, really, really pretty piece. It is two and a quarter inches tall by one and a half inches across. For this purple bouquet pin, it is $10 and number 11. $10, number 11, for the bouquet pin. And then I have another tin for you, and this one's an oldie. This says, keep this kit filled with Westinghouse lamps, Westinghouse Mazda lamps. Drive sanely, carry spare bulbs. So this is an old container that they would keep in their car and carry, and it's like old. I've gotten it off before, I swear like rusty, crusty, tetanusy good. So this is an old tin that they would use to keep uh, extra bulbs in for the cars, but that orange and black would be beautiful in a Halloween vignette. So that's what I thought of. I'm starting to try to give you guys a little bit of fall early because I know September, some people like to do fall before they do their Halloween and stuff. So this one is going to be $10, number 17. $10, number 17 for the Westinghouse tin. And our final item of the evening, of the day, of the morning, morning when you're watching this, is this cool vintage Making Life Healthful. It's a vintage book, but it's got this great burgundy, orange, and green cover. I love the font. This one was published. The Healthy Life Series, including a program of safety education, Making Life Healthy. Copyright 1940 by the John C. Winston Company. Copyright 1938, the JCW Co. There's a note to the teacher. It's your body, it's care, and how it works. Forming good habits. The outside of your body. Muscles and bones. The glands. Food in the body. So here's like some of the pages. So just kind of a cool little forming good habits, how to learn. The nervous system. So it's got some great um, medical pictures in here too. You know, just, so this is great for junk journaling. It's great for people who like vintage books for staging. You know, it's just got different graphics. Definitely 40s, 30s, 40s feel. There are a hundred and, well, 400 pages with the index in the back. So it's a 400 page book, beautiful coloring, spines in great condition. For this health book, it's going to be $8 and number nine. And that's it guys. That is the third drop sale of August, uh, July. So thank you so much for joining me. Again, if you've never bought from me before, please email me at sidestreetmarketsales at gmail.com. I will have it down below here. It'll also be in the description of the video. And I'll plug it in throughout the video, probably above my head, so you guys can still see the items. Um, I need your real name, your YouTube name, your shipping address. The shipping is not included. I ship from Florida. Um, I try to ship out within 48 hours of invoices being paid, and I try to invoice within 24 hours of the sale if you send me your information. So I think that was it. Thank you for joining me. If you liked the video, remember to give it a thumbs up. Hit that subscribe button, and I will see you all very, very soon.